Hey, it's Mike from BlindsOnline.com and uh, today I'm going to show you how to install your new uh, Express 3 8 inch double cell light filtering shade. Uh, when you take the shade out of the box, it's going to look a little something like this. The cord will be uh, wrapped around the rail, so just take some time and unravel the string, okay? Um, take a quick peek at the shade. You'll see that the shade has a double cellular construction, okay? Um, your back side will always be white. That's the side that will face the outside of your home. Inside will be the color that you chose. Um, you'll have your coordinating rails on top and bottom, your head rail which is the top rail and your bottom rail, both painted aluminum, and the heavy duty cord lock which will give you many years of uh, trouble free operation. Okay, and That's actually what operates your shade. Alright, so once you have the shade unpacked, just take the shade and put it aside and look for your mounting brackets. Your mounting brackets are also going to be included with the shade. That's these um, little metal mounting brackets and these brackets are universal brackets. Universal meaning that they can either be used for an inside mount or an outside mount. Okay, so either way. Uh, first I'm going to show you how to uh, mount this shade as an inside mount. Inside mount meaning that the shade is going to be mounted on the inside of the window frame. Okay, so the screws and necessary hardware will always be provided. It always helps if you have a screw gun handy. It just makes things a little easier. If you don't, you can always just put the screws in by hand. Um, what we're going to do is place the bracket up into the window frame, okay, with the little pointy side facing you, okay, and the double hold L portion facing downward, okay, just like you see it here. All right, we're going to place that bracket in the frame with the very front of the bracket just about lining up with the front of the window. Okay, we're going to go up underneath and we're going to put one screw right into the back or front hole, either one, of the bracket, and that'll hold it in place. Okay, the back hole comes in handy if you have a limited amount of window depth. That'll allow you to uh, mount this bracket with as little as a half inch of window depth. Um, even though, you know, in the best case scenario, it would be nice to have at least one inch. Once you have that bracket mounted, just grab the other bracket, and we'll always provide enough brackets to mount your shade, so if you have a wider shade, you may need three or even four brackets, and just do the same thing. One screw up through the back of the bracket, okay? Uh, once you have your brackets in place, you'll pick up your shade, release the shade just a bit, okay, so that the rail is free, you don't have any excess fabric that may get caught into the bracket when you place it into the brackets. And here's, here's the uh, whole way of install. The trickiest part of this is getting the, the lip of the, of the shade right here. Okay, there's a little groove that sits right on the very top of the head rail. And that groove, we want to fit these little spring-loaded pointy portions of the bracket into that groove. Okay, So we'll place the shade up into the window frame. We'll place those little pointy metal pieces on the bracket right into the groove, just like that. And before we do anything, we want to make sure the shade is even in the frame. Here we can see there's a little more space on the left and the right. So I'm just going to push it slightly over to the left and even that out. Okay, once we have the shade uh, evened out in the frame, we're going to push the rail back toward the wall, just like that. Uh, the brackets are spring-loaded, so you'll feel the bracket kind of compress a little bit. Okay, we're going to press the shade back into the brackets just like that and it'll automatically snap right into the bracket. Okay, once you've snapped the shade into the brackets, you're basically done. There's no other work required. Your shade is now installed. So lower the shade and enjoy it. Uh, the one other piece that will be included with the hardware is a cord cleat. And the cord cleats are there so that when you raise the shade and your cord gets kind of long. It'll keep the string away from young children and pets. Uh, this way your kids will stay safe. Okay, so pull, the, put that little cleat either on the window trim like we have it here or off to the side. It'll be fine. It's really up to you where you'd like to place it, but high enough so that it's out of reach of the young ones. Okay, and then you can just hang your cord right on that cord cleat and the cord will be away and nice and neat. It'll be away from the floor. All right, so that's, that's basically how you'd mount the shade as an inside mount. Now, if we were to mount this shade as an outside mount, there are really two ways you can do it. 
again, we're going to be using the same exact bracket. Bracket doesn't change. The only difference this time is if we chose to mount it to the window molding, we're going to place the bracket right on the window molding like so, and you'll see the two double holes. We're going to put a screw into each hole. All right, so a screw will go here and a screw will go there. You'll do the same thing on the opposite side and then just mount the shade the same way by pressing that little groove on top of the rail into the bracket and pushing upward toward the ceiling. That'll snap the shade right into the bracket. All right. Now the other option as an outside mount would be if you wanted to mount it to the wall as opposed to the window molding. If you want to do that, uh, we would recommend that you order the optional spacer block. And the spacer block is a no charge option at checkout, all right, when you're ordering your shades. And what the spacer block does is it goes just behind the bracket, like so. And it spaces the bracket out far enough so that when the shade uh, goes up and down, it's not rubbing on the window molding. All right, so if you if you've chose to mount the shade above the window molding, we're going to take the whole unit up here, the spacer block and the bracket, we're going to place it on the wall just at, like so, okay, and while you're holding it in place, you're going to drill two screws in through the wall just like that. And then of course you'd place another bracket on the opposite side and then just snap the shade right in. Alright, so that's, that's the uh, basic idea of how you'd mount the shade on the outside. Uh, I'm Mike from BlindsOnline.com. If there are any questions on how to mount, feel free to call anytime. And uh, thanks for watching.